This is the debriefing of Captain James Bond Stockdale, U.S. Navy, on 19 February 1973. Jim Stockdale's journey from aviator to spy begins on September 9, 1965. A bombing mission into North Vietnam from the carrier USS Oriskany out on the Gulf of Tonkin. To defend South Vietnam, America expands the war into the north, embarking on the most intensive bombing campaign in the history of warfare. The illusion of American invincibility is soon shattered. A Soviet surface-to-air missile brings down Stockdale's A-4 Skyhawk jet. Four days later, he arrives at the infamous Hoa Lo prison, located in the heart of the North Vietnamese capital, Hanoi. The pilots came to nickname it the Hanoi Hilton. Stockdale decides to risk his life to attempt to communicate with U.S. intelligence. The decision is based on his burning desire to expose the cruelty he and his fellow officers experienced inside that prison. During most of September, I was taken for uh, nearly a month of torture to extract statements. And they carried me into a room to the left. So this is room 24. Room 24, the cell that became synonymous with prolonged torture. Stockdale concludes the world has to know what is happening inside this prison. I figured that if there's some way we could let the American people know that, that we were under pressure, that the press reports that would naturally follow would affect captains dramatically. This was a key to our success. But how is he going to let the American people know? At survival school, he was taught the art of writing in doublespeak to conceal vital intelligence in seemingly innocuous text. My dearest Sid, on this chilly afternoon, I am so glad to be permitted to write my letter and to let you know that I am still okay. One thinks of Vietnam as a tropical country, but in January the rains came and there was cold and darkness even at noon. Darkness at Noon, a doublespeak reference to a well-known novel by Arthur Kessler that vividly depicts atrocities inside Soviet labor camps. The letter takes four months to reach Coronado, California. His wife, Sybil, immediately assumes Jim must be referring to conditions inside the Hanoi Hilton. She contacts the Office of Naval Intelligence in Washington. Along with the CIA, they are already trying to find a way of communicating with American pilots held in North Vietnam. Sybil flies to Washington to meet Commander Robert Burroughs from Naval Intelligence. The message to her is simple. Is she willing to allow her husband to be recruited as a spy? Mom took great pause and asked Commander Burroughs if any reassurances could be given about Dad's safety as if he was apprehended, exchanging these messages, in essence participating in espionage. And Bob told her he could give no reassurances. That puts Sybil in a near impossible position. Then just two weeks after Sybil's return from Washington, she sees Jeremiah Denton, Jim's Naval Academy classmate, hauled out to confess his sins. He appears confused and disoriented, but after the broadcast, Naval Intelligence calls Sybil with an explanation. Denton is actually blinking a Morse code message. T-O-R-T-U-R-E torture. The appearance convinces Sybil that U.S. intelligence should attempt to recruit Jim as a spy. Now it's up to both the CIA and naval intelligence to make that happen.